I remember it like it was yesterday. I was taking a morning walk along with my partner Franks discussing the reason of my temporary suspension from the Alabama State Police Department. While I was enjoying the sweet smell of honeysuckle and jasmine, Frank caught wind of a stench, a stench of murder. Looks like we had another case on our hands. The evidence was evident and right in front of us. After examining the evidence, with the experience of being a detective, I looked up to see what appeared to be a prime suspect. Not your usual suspect, a worse kind. She had the face of an angel, but I could tell she had the heart of a devil. Pardon me, Miss, uh... Johnson. But please, call me by my first name, Blanche. To be honest with you, I didn't catch a name the first time. Quite frankly, I was too distracted by her cover girl figure and the smell of her sweet French perfume. Blanche? Blanche. 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 Blanche? Blanche. Blanche? Blanche? Who are these two amateur detectives walking up? This isn't the first time I've taken care of their kind. Blanche? Blanche. Blanche? Blanche? Blanche. Oh, because Blanche. 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 Because Blanche. Blanche? Blanche? Blanche. Blanche? An hour later, we finally discovered her name was Blanche Johnson. Blanche? Blanche. Excuse me, Miss Johnson. My partner Franks and I would be much obliged if you'd invite us in. We'd just like to ask you a couple questions. At this point, I only had one thing on my mind, what she was doing for supper. And the only thing on Frank's mind was, where's the money? Easy, Franks. Why sure, fellas, come on in. <laughs> Now, what did you find, gentlemen, want to talk to me about? Now, Miss Johnston. Mm-hmm. I do believe you know It's this. Johnson. J jo Johns Johnson. 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 No T. Johnson. No T. That's fine. And it really doesn't matter to me, Miss Johnson. There's an outline and pure evidence outside your home of a homicide. Oh, what's a homicide? Watch the sass talk, Miss Johnson. I am law. There's pure evidence outside in your, con in your concrete driveway that points to you as a suspect in a murder. Mm. A murder, a homicide. I think I have a runner in my pantyhose. Can you check to see if I do? Of course, Miss Johnson. Yes, sit. Sure, Miss Johnson. Make yourself comfortable. Sure, Miss Johnson. <laughs> what about you, Franks? Where's the money? Cool it, Franks. Boys, 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 you're so tense. I know. How about some shine? I made it myself. Well, Miss Johnson, I've never been one to turn down shine myself. Much, <laughs> much obliged. You know what? You drink that. I'm going to put on some music. look like you're enjoying yourself so much. I'm gonna go to the powder room. I'll be right back. Line up, Frank. We got a lot of other one. I think you're seeing things, Franks. I think the shine's got to you a little bit. A doll like that, the hospitality. Looks like we scored here, huh? <laughs> Sorry, boys, I didn't mean to keep you. I had to freshen up a bit. No need to apologize there, Miss Johnson. You've been a hell of an entertainer this evening for me and my partner Frank's here. Miss Johnson, you are not a suspect in this murder. 
Well, thank you. I told you I was telling the truth. It's just some kids up there playing with some chalk on my driveway. Franks and I feel like total idiots coming in here questioning you like that. Franks is an idiot. Franks and I agreed that Miss Johnson was innocent. We never found a body. Franks never found any money. But me and Miss Johnson did, in fact, have a romance. It was brief. But it was something special. I guess you could say we shared a moment. My name's Claude Fontaine, Private Dick, and that's just one of my stories. <laughs>